Um, this is a journal that's been very important in my career. Uh, the very first scientific publication I've ever published was in organometallics as a graduate student. Um, organometallic chemists for years now and continue to show that we can make bonds in, in ways that nobody ever thought of. And, and uh, I think that's still going to be one of the, the forefronts of the, of the field, is the application of organometallic chemistry to chemical synthesis. My vision for the journal is really to, I think, capture the diversity of the field. Um, organometallics, the journal, is, I think, very central to the field. But the field of organometallic chemistry means a lot of different things. And I think it's important for the journal to capture the best science in these areas. And when you do that, you impact pharmaceuticals, you impact biofuels, you impact uh, material science. And uh, because it's an established field, maybe young people don't think it's the, the hottest field, but it, but it is. I mean, you know, there's been three Nobel Prizes in the past decade to, our, to organometallic research, and uh, I think that's, that speaks to the field. You know, I think the journal reflects sort of the best in the field, and that's something I want to be a part of. So my current research is in uh, broadly defined in sustainable chemistry. Uh, one of the largest efforts in our group is in an area called base metal catalysis, where we try and replace catalysts that are typically uh, functioning with precious metals with more earth abundant elements like iron and cobalt. We got into this because we started thinking about sustainability and the idea was the chemistry that we do, do, we do, does every part of it meet the sustainability criterion? So if you're taking something out of the ground that you know to get an ounce of it takes 10 tons of earth, that can't be sustainable. Well, the first thing I would tell someone who got their first paper published is congratulations, right? <laughs> it's a big feat. It's a great thing to get your work published in an ACS journal. Um, and I think you should look back at your paper and say, how can I make it better, right? What's the next step? And I think another important area is, why would people want to read this paper? Who, who is going to read this paper? I think anybody who's interested in the field. I mean, this should be graduate students. It should be people in industry. It should be uh, academia. And how do you make your science accessible to those people? I think your paper should be vibrant, whether it's the, it should start with the table of contents graphic. You know, I think a lot of effort needs to go into that now because that's how your paper is noticed on the website, right? When people are scrolling through all this scientific information, you, should, you have to grab them and you have to be able to convey what your paper's about in, you know, a concise graphic. And that should lure the reader in and then hopefully the writing and the rest of the science really just gets the people hooked. And, um, no matter what your, your area is, I think that should be the common theme. It's just high quality, high impact research. And if you do that, then the journal will be great.